Tinker is more than just the latest set of GUI controls from Skewworks, although you will find nearly three dozen controls, containers, and modal dialogues, each of which respond not only to touch events, but physical button presses as well. You can even create your own custom controls, such as the one seen here, rendering the desktop and icons. The icons are being rendered in 32-bit pixels using the Image32 standard, which is freely available from Skewworks. Applications themselves are also a standard available on our website and can communicate to each other across app domains using messages and objects. That's how you can see the icon appear in the taskbar at the bottom whenever this application loses focus. You can keep track of running applications and manage them as well. To test your applications, you can use it inside of Visual Studio. That way you don't have to put it onto an SD card every time you want to make an update to your application. This makes testing extremely simple and much faster. Once your application is ready, it can be run from SD card, USB stick, or even EEPROM memory. And, should you need to update that application, you can do so on the fly, whether it's over Wi-Fi, Ethernet, SD update, or in this case, Bluetooth. If you were paying attention the first time we showed you the screen, you'll notice that the font size of the text box has changed. Speaking of fonts, we've completely redone every single one of our modal dialogues, including the virtual keypad you see here. It's faster than ever before and allows you to change the carrot position using touch alone. Welcome to Tinker.